at the moment I've just got the two um, LED house lights on which are the wrong temperature I'm gonna change that now I'm gonna turn them off and I'm gonna put the studio lights on I'm gonna put the overhead lights on so stay with me I'm just gonna use the remote there we are so we can we've got loads of adjustments on the remote we can change this about I'm gonna put some backlights on over here as well so now this is just uh, I'm gonna get this camera out of the way because we're not going to be using this camera and obviously I haven't finished the lighting or anything yet but I just want to show you the issues I've got and you might be able to see obviously I'm picking up a lot of white off the floor here down here reflection and the reflections in here um, lots of lights and cupboards and bits and pieces behind of different colors and you'll probably see why this is um, I'll just show you just above the just above the Jeep line over here you can see it's black and then it goes white so that's the floor reflection and then the black is this black cloth over here under the door there you can see that reflection that's left to go I'm going to sort that out now so there you go so we'll probably still have a uh, reflection bouncing around here which is coming off a, an up top light there which is uh, not needed I could I could adjust it but just turn it off because we don't need it on the floor we've got floor light which is going to this front wheel lighting up that front wheel for us then over the back there up the top we've got our back lights just giving us a little bit of a key on our left we've got a four bank Kina flow we've got a uh, Godox here 60 watt LED diffused then over on the right hand side we've got another Kino which is just running behind that big white cloth and that's just lighting up that side there and then of course obviously over the top we've got our overhead which is our 8x8 with uh, daylight balanced LEDs so we're almost ready to go I've just added a spotlight to the uh, back wheel there so spotlight on the back wheel I'll take three or four shots with a polarizer and I'll, I'll make a few adjustments and you can see what difference it makes to the lighting couple of inside the car shots near over the top so I've just changed the lighting setup and uh, put me uh, RGBs on and I've got them on a group setting so they're both at the same color same power same temperature into the app Just have to connect both of these. See they're connecting. Job done.